Last time we read Jigsaw Jones in chapter six, Kim reacted in a way when Jigsaw Jones showed her the paper that fell out of her notebook. How did she react? She seemed a little upset, didn't she? She looked confused at first, and then she kind of got upset because she thinks that they're accusing her. So now chapter seven. A pain in the neck. Remember, Milo went home. Jigsaw said he was going to go catch up with Biggs Maloney. <coughs> Mrs. Maloney answered the door. She held one baby in her arms. Another baby was on the ground grabbing her legs. You've met the twins, haven't you? She asked. This is Harry. And this little guy sucking on his knee is Larry. That's the thing with twins. They all look alike. To make things worse, Harry and Larry dressed alike. How do you tell who's who? I asked. Oh, a mother knows, Mrs. Maloney said. But here's a tip. Larry has a big freckle on his nose. Larry doesn't. Is Biggs home, I asked. Yes, he's in the family room. He's supposed to be doing his homework. She wiped Harry's nose with the tissue, but I think he's watching television. I found Biggs in the family room. There was no homework in sight, but that wasn't the weird thing. Biggs was dressed in red long johns and a red long sleeve shirt. He wore blue underwear on top of his long johns. Biggs wore a mask over his face and a black cape. The letter P was taped on his chest. Biggs was jumping up and down on the couch throwing fake punches. He was watching a wrestling match on tel TV. Jigsaw, you gotta see this, Biggs urged. The Red Phantom is about to pin the terrorizer. I didn't have much choice. You don't argue with Biggs Maloney. After the match, Biggs clicked off the TV. Let's wrestle, he said. I'll be the Red Phantom. You can be the terrorizer. Er, but Biggs, I stammered. Wrestling isn't really my wham. Before I knew it, Biggs pounced on me. Then he twisted my body into the shape of a pretzel. Pinned, Biggs shouted, thrusting his fist up into the air. The red phantom trumps again. He looked down at me. You're, you all right, Jigsaw, he asked. I tried to wiggle my fingers. They still worked. Is there a doctor in the house, I said. Biggs laughed. You're funny. Yeah, funny, I groaned. Biggs helped me up. I'm going to be a professional wrestler when I grow up, he told me. Either that or a florist. A florist? <clears throat> <clears throat> Biggs laid his huge paw on my shoulder. He had the grip of a grizzly bear. Yeah, what's the matter? You don't like flowers? I told Biggs I liked flowers. I loved flowers. Some of my best friends were flowers. Finally, he released my gri his grip. My shoulder ached, but at least it was still attached to the rest of my body. Want to wrestle again? Biggs asked. I need to practice my double knee drop. Arr, I'd love to really, I said, backing up, but I'm in a hurry. I came to ask you a few questions about Eddie Becker. Don't even say that guy's name, Biggs said. He owes me a baseball card. Now Eddie says he can't pay me back. As Biggs told it, I wasn't the only guy he managed in a wrestling match. Last week, Biggs and Eddie res watched wrestling on TV together. Then Biggs pinned him six times in a row. He made a bet, Biggs said. If, he, if I won, I was allowed to take my pick of his best baseball cards. I thought it over, but without any cards, I said, <clears throat> he can't pay you. Almost, Big said. Eddie's still got plenty of cards, but they're all commons. I wanted one of his prized rookie cards. What's a common, I asked. Every year they print thousands of baseball cards, Biggs ex explained. Some of them will be worth a lot of money someday, but most cards, 
he said, shaking his head, will never be worth anything. They're called commons. Most collectors don't even want them. I scribbled notes in my journal. Then I got out of there in a hurry. I didn't know what a double knee drop was and I sure didn't want to find out. It sounded painful. All right, so what did Jigsaw just learn in that chapter? Yeah, he learned that Biggs was owed a card and now Eddie doesn't have cards to give him, so he isn't able to give him one of his cards. He also learned something about a common. A common is what? Yeah, a type of card that he, um, that they print thousands of and they're not really worth anything. So he learned that there's a difference between cards. Some are valuable, some are not. All right, see you next time for chapter eight.